everybody did. She's not ready. Oh. Yeah, I'm not ready. I had turned and looked and thought you was, all right. So, like I was saying, you, you said you live in the same town. type of individual. Okay. So if you ask me what I think about the death of, of, of Mr. Gray, right. yeah, I can I can elaborate on that because I didn't know him personally. Mm -hmm. I really, you know, there's no feelings there. Mm -hmm. other than he's my brother. I'm sorry, I'm going to ask you to repeat that other than... He's my brother man in the brotherhood of life. Right. I'm the only feelings I have for Freddie. Right. But uh, uh, I think he was dealt a bad deal. I think he was almost dead before they put him in the van. Mm -hmm. I think he was so incapacitated and his bone structure was so limp mm -hmm. before they put him in the van. I think, they, I, you know, that's what I think and I think they lied about that and that was upsetting. Then when they made the one stop, I think because of any commotion or any noises he might have made, they beat him again. Mm -hmm. That's my personal you know what I mean? Outlook on the situation. So where were you on the night when everything started burning when oh God, the took place? God had hit me. God had hit me in the uh, 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 a facility where I was getting some help from my problems. Somewhere up Park Heights. Right, right. Yeah. So you were hidden away. Right. But how do you feel about what happened with the with the rioting, the looting? I felt uprising. like I felt like it was back doing Martin Luther King her all over again. And I didn't know what level it was gonna escalate to because I know the entire city, not just Sandtown, but the entire city is a powder cake, just ready for explosion because of the economical blighting of the entire city, which is intentional. You know, there's no real no real revitalization. where someone can grow, where you can get involved in something and actually grow. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Where you can go get some finance and start a business and that business be successful. Where you can go get some real training, some real job placement. Real with, training, real job placement. With, with real, mm -hmm. the producers a real viable skill. Right. They get you a real career. Right. Not a $5 an hour job. Right. $7 an hour job. Right. Because that equals up to no job. Right. You know? Right. But uh, uh, it's pretty bad to be living, you know, in the so-called ghetto. Because no one's coming to get you. No one's going to help you out. They'll throw you a half a rope and you got to climb out. Mm -hmm. They'll help you get out. And their meaning is help is I'll throw you this half a rope. Mm -hmm. Insufficient amount of rope. And you jump up, grab it, and you make it out. Mm -hmm. And that's the, that's the reality of the situation. Nobody's never going to come down here, straighten this out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But, you know, like smooth things over. Right. That's never going to happen. It hasn't happened in my lifetime. It hasn't happened in the lifetime of my people before me. And it won't happen in my kids' lifetime because it's not going to happen. What? All this place is set up for mm -hmm. is to be economically raw right. and suck dry now, by any means necessary. Now, in, along those lines, how do you feel about the police and the, and the National Guard being placed so heavily in this community during that time? I think you? it was an overreaction, a total overreaction. And I hope you suspicion of right but the guilty. And I think downtown got real scared and real frightened because they're form of policy had come home to roost. You got police out here beating the crap out of people for nothing. Sending the people over Central Booking for nothing. Just so they can enhance their arrest record. And it's a it's an unspoken policy with the police station. That's that what they do. It's an unspoken policy with the mayor that she give the uh, 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 chief of police, you know, an open an open hand to run it the way he wanna run it. You know what I'm saying? But they're not actually on the street. And they're going to never feel what's actually going on on the street. Were they you, don't want to feel it. Were you, do you remember the 68 riots? Vaguely. Vaguely? Vaguely. Okay. Put it this way. When the riots turn 100, I'll be 85. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, Last question. So you, you've already explained how you felt about what happened 
just a few weeks ago. How do you feel about everything now? Oh, I feel that we in a state of limbo. I feel like we're standing on a volcano. Are you down with, uh, are you familiar with uh, Yellowstone Park? Mm -hmm. And you are you familiar how lovely and peaceful things seem to be? But in actuality, you're standing on top of some super volcano. Are you aware of the fact that when thy bed is made of roses, beware of the thorns? Mm -hmm. That's how the, the, the community is now. It's kind of calm because the police did let up a little bit because they're just not locking up people to enhance their restaurant anymore. Some police really do care because some police are from here, but they have a job capacity still functioning. You know, it's a lot, it's a real paradoxical and it's a real catch 22 situations in here. You know what I mean? But uh, the bottom line is. <laughs> The bottom line is you need federal revitalization money. You need real program, viable program. I'm sorry about that disturbance. But, uh, you need real hands on in the community with real viable things, tools. You know what I mean? Like I just, I can't reiterate this enough. A real job training program that's going to take a kid from school through a training process and into a career. Not just I go up here and sit in this class all day so some program can keep getting funded. Well, I'm not getting anything out of it, for real. Well, I just want to thank you so much. Right. Your agent has a tremendous person yeah. on his role. Yeah, Mr. So. Rumpelsfeld. <laughs> Mr. Rumpelsfeld will call you. He'll Good deal. call your people. And